Oh, you need a drink? I got you. I got you. I got you. This don't make no damn sense for us to be this damn late. Damn, white people been here since 6.30. They helped, helped set up the chairs and every damn thing. Just, I mean, I'm here. I can help out. I'm just... Don't make no damn sense. But that's because we do too much on concert day. We do. They here. They here. Tell they've been here for a while. But see, black people, we be late because we try to do too much on concert day. You know, we try to go get the car wash, get a haircut, drop the kids off, stop by the mall, get that outfit, stop, get a bag of weed. <laughs> by the time we get to the concert, it be nine the damn clock. And you know we don't go right to the parking lot either. We got to drive around, try to find some free parking first, guys. <laughs> You see couples coming in, women in shoes. I can't walk that far. You got $10, we'll bring your ass home. <laughs> on the real, but it's a good time. We're going to have a good time. My name is uh, Damon Williams. I don't know if y'all have seen me. I'll be on Comic View sometime. Clap if you have seen me before. Yeah. All right. Them the people with cable right there. Them the people with cable. But look, I got this thing I do because I like I'm like pre-hosting the show. I do like the warm-up for the show. So to get the crowd together, I do like this thing. I go dit da da da. Then the people go ooh ooh. So I'm gonna try dit da da da. Okay, that won everybody though. Um, look, if you do this, you can win prizes. Somebody doing it already? Look at that's just black people that want free shit right there. They're probably on the WIC program now. Nah, Got all type of Cheerios and juicy juice at the crib. <laughs> Peanut butter just falling out the damn cabinet. But I'm gonna try it again. Did, 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 did. Now the second part, I say, and you don't stop. Y'all say, and you don't quit. So all together, did, 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 did. and you don't stop. Now see what that is, we gonna do it later and the late people ain't gonna know what the hell that is. So we gonna have an advantage over them. Now, this is my first time in Greensboro, and I've been liking it. Y'all give y'all city a round of applause. This is a beautiful part of the country. And I know I had mentioned about white people, and white people, we glad y'all. White people, make some noise. White people. <laughs> 25 white people. <laughs> now y'all know how we feel uh, at the workplace. <laughs> feel kind of surrounded, don't you? But I ain't bothering white people, you know, because this is the South, you know. I ain't bothering white people in North Carolina. I ain't, I ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? This ain't really the time to be bothering white people, especially in this area. Y'all got some white guys kind of scary in this area. Y'all got white guys look like they jump right out the Chevy commercial, you know. Like a rock. <laughs> I was strong as I can be. Like a rock. You can't front on that dude be singing that song, though. He be singing the hell out of that song. Oh, like a rock. Like a rock. Crackheads be like, I love that song. <laughs> they watch the commercial, unplug the TV, go sell it. I got a rock. <laughs> but it's all good. We all up in here. Y'all up in here. Y'all looking good. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, for real, give yourself a round of applause. Y'all look good. Yeah. That's straight. That's straight. You know, and I'm, I'm glad to be on the tour. This is the last night of the tour, so I'm going to miss this. It's been beautiful, and they closing it out here in y'all town. And uh, I know the tour, you know, we've been in a lot of cities, New York and L.A. and, you know, all over the place. So I'm thinking the tour might help my career. I might blow me up a little bit, you know, just a little extra little blow up right there, right? But I ain't really in no hurry to, like, blow, blow up, you know, because famous people have been losing their mind lately. You know, Diana Ross going around slapping on titties, you know. I don't know what that was when she had grabbed little Kim on the breast right there. She just was compelled. Then you got people with celebrities getting in trouble, you know, like Tevin Campbell had this little problem. Y'all heard about Tevin? Did y'all clap if you didn't hear about Tevin? That's, okay, that's uh, the people that need to go ahead and read Jet. Um, <laughs> if you ain't here, Tevin had uh, got arrested. Yeah, little Tevin uh, for soliciting an undercover police officer. But wait. It was a man. Y'all shocked? 
Y'all could have been shocked that Tevin was gay. Now, I know y'all should know when he had the braids with the bangs. That's a clue. You know, when we get French braids, but we ain't doing bangs with bees. That's, you know, that's gay right there. You know, and I ain't tripping on him being gay. That's his business. That's his life. He want to be gay. And then he didn't just want to, like, go out and have sex with the guy. He didn't want to have sex. He wants to give him some ock. You know, he wants to ock him. Oh, y'all know what ock is? Bruh, you ever heard ock before? Ock, never? Hmm. You ain't never like been with a, a girl before, fellas, and uh, let's say she just learning how, or maybe she try to be an overachiever, but she go too far. Ah, you ain't never heard. <laughs> ah, all right. I'm the only one heard ah before. Ah. You know, like when you brushing your teeth, you try to brush your tongue. Ah, that right there. Ah. That. <laughs> you know, ah, that. Seven had wanted to ah, old boy. You know. And I ain't tripping on him on the Akko boy, that's his business. I'm just saying, you know, if you gay and you famous, you ain't really got to go out on the street and get a stranger. You know what I'm saying? He could have got on any airline and got any, like, male flight attendant, you know. Oh, uh, don't front like y'all don't know all male flight attendants, ticket agents, hotel desk clerks be really kind of gay. You done seen them, you know, the hotel uh, smoking or non-smoking, would you? <laughs> you see him on a plane, would you like peanuts, peanuts? Any man that get on a plane and go like this, you know. He kind of gay, I'm sorry. I'd be like, it's an exit over there, there's one over there. That's kind of gay. Plus, if you male, famous gay man, you could get somebody, you know. He could have got Maxwell. He could have went on ahead and got Maxwell. He could have. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, no, I ain't saying they had said, he had said on the radio that he said he was. I ain't saying he is, I'm saying they had said he was. That ain't what I'm saying. Or he could have got genuine, he could have went over here and got genuine. Just... No, I don't know, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, I don't think he gay, he ain't gay. He just sound gay on that song, though. It's nine o'clock, where you been? Call me, you know, that's, that's whining. Ladies, that was your man on your page. You're like, yeah, I'm going out, punk. You know, you. <laughs> Ladies, could you imagine making love to your man? You on top, breaking him off, and he like, oh, girl, cut it out. You're hurting me. you be like, shut your punk ass. Like, you wouldn't really respect that right there. You wouldn't. But I ain't in none of their business. I don't care who they with, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I got somebody. I, I'm married, you know what I'm saying? I'm already, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Even though I really miss being single, you know, for real. Married people know, I, I mean, I ain't like I'm not happy. It's just that I want my house back, you know. For real, every once in a while, I miss being single. Sometimes I just put in my wedding video, just rewind it to the beginning, just to see that part where I was single, you know. Just so I can see her ass moonwalk back down the aisle. I swear to God. You know. <laughs> On the real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've been married like three years, three years. Yep, got a seven year old son. <laughs> Don't even trip, black people. You know that's how we do it now. You go to a black way and your own kid be the ring bear. Don't even. <laughs> Mama, you look good. But we gonna get this show started because I think it's time to do that. Y'all can't pay y'all money. Are y'all ready to laugh and have a damn good time? If y'all ready to do that, say hell yeah. Did there to there. And you don't stop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in Greensboro, North Carolina, this is the last show of the Kings of Comedy Tour. So when the comics come out, y'all show them all the love you got. Send this tour off with a bang. Now, on behalf of HBO and Crown Roy, I'm Damon Williams. Welcome to the Crown 